Today is a big win for AMC stock. It's also a big win for the broad markets. And we're going to talk about why that is. It comes down to the drop that we've seen in AMC in the beginning of the trading day and what we are currently seeing because holy shit, you need to put on your Budweiser cowboy hat because boy, are you going to need a drink after what we have seen with AMC stock here today. So let's talk about one, why it's a win for AMC, what we're seeing today, and why this is a win for the broad markets. And I know what you guys are thinking. CPI coming down, that's a win for AMC. No, it's not. That's not even what the premise of this video is about. Yes, it is a win, but it doesn't necessarily mean too much in regards to amc now let's pull up the one minute candlestick chart because you've seen a very aggressive sell-off of amc stock amc was down almost nine percent at one point today and we've currently went up a great deal since the bottom that we've seen at $20.73. Specifically, we have moved up 7.3 percent, almost seven and a half percent from the bottom. That would almost be 9% since AMC is still down about 1%. But why this is such a positive day for AMC stock, in my personal opinion, is the textbook rally that we are seeing. This is textbook, and we have not been rallying over the last, call it two days or so. You've seen a down tick, right? about 6.3% yesterday in the 1% give or take by the time you guys see this video here today. But look at this. Look at the 200 day moving average and what happened here today. You literally bounced right off of the 200 day moving average. 200 day moving average is sitting at $20.76 per share. Pull this up to the one minute candlestick chart and go to the low. The low of the day was $20.73 per share. I highly doubt by the end of the day, we are going to close under the low of the day. I just highly doubt it, especially after what we have seen from the bottom. It's been pretty much straight gas to the upside ever since. So why is that so bullish and why is that so textbook? Well, you really want to watch the 200 day moving average. What this does and what this specifically did today was prove to me this is going to be a level of support, not only psychologically at $20 per share, but with the actual moving average itself. The last time we have been above the 200 day moving average was back here in December of 2021. Well, actually, you have to go back to no, uh, December 1st was the last day we we were above this intraday. The last day we closed above the 200 day moving average was actually November 30th. Same thing for the 100 day moving average, but it's a little bit better there. This is the most that we have been above the 100 day moving average since this rally in March. And we were only above this 100 day moving average, or I should say closed above the 100 day moving average, this orange line, one, two, three days during this March rally. How many days have we closed above the 100 day moving average this time around? Well, currently you're on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. If you go back to the mid-July rally that we've seen with AMC, a smaller rally, but still notable, you were above the 100-day moving average one, two, three, four, five days. So you're still doing better than what we've seen during the March rally, and you're doing better than what we have seen since November of 2021 for AMC stock. It is now August of 2022 ladies and gentlemen and i think this confirms to me that we are going to see another leg of this rally the story this time around with amc is not done purely on a technical basis i would be beyond shocked if we don't see another big rally with the stock and i hope that all made some sense if it does not i will go over and make a whole video about the technicals on amc trust me i will just ask for it down below in the comment section we'll get into the most technicals that you guys will ever want to know it will bore your guys brains by the time you're done with that video let me know if you guys want that uh, later on here today but nonetheless let's talk about everything else with amc stock that you need to know that is very relevant to this rally that we have been seeing as well as the inflation data because this was a big win for the buy the dippers so let's go ahead and take a look at this article consumer prices rose 8.5 percent in july less than expected as inflation pressures ease a bit the key points the consumer price index rose 8.5 percent in july from a year ago below expectations due 
due largely to slumping energy prices. Excluding volatile food and energy prices, so-called core CPI rose 5.9% annually and 0.3% monthly compared with respective estimates of 6.1% and 0.5%. So core CPI, headline CPI, everything beat by a pretty decent margin, especially the core CPI month over month. We were expecting 0.3% or 0.5% and we came in at 0.3%. For comparison here, just to make the math simple because I'm not a math whiz, it was actually my worst subject in school a lot better with it now but if you had an estimated 0.6 percent rating and we got a 0.3 percent rating well the expectations missed by a hundred percent to the positive right because it came in lower than those higher expectations so here what you're looking at is gotta be a 70 80 percent beat of the monthly change in in core CPI, meaning the monthly uh, expectation was 70, 80% better than what the markets expected. It says the report was good news for workers who saw a 0.5% monthly increase in real wages. So you are starting to see wages outpacing the monthly change in core uh, CPI. So definitely a positive thing for the markets. I'm honestly a little bit surprised of this rally that we are seeing almost 2% in the S&P just because we've rallied so much. And I thought at least a little bit of this rally was already baking in a decent beat to CPI or core CPI. But I guess you are being rewarded for going out there and buying the dip. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to talk about in regards to AMC stock and earnings here in after hours. So what we have as far as earnings in after hours, the big one is going to be Disney and Dutch Bros. These are going to be the companies that can really move in a big way. In my personal opinion, the more popular companies, Bumble moved big on their last earnings. So did Matterport. So did uh, a couple of these other stocks. But really, Disney, that's going to be the one that can really move the markets coming into tomorrow. So that's the one that I am really going to be playing. And I do have uh, some trades on it, which if you guys want access to all of my trades in real time, link down below in the description of this video did put on a trade for, uh, on disney for about 500 dollars for the, was the total cost the max potential loss the max gain is nineteen thousand five hundred dollars so that one could be a good one obviously uh, anything can happen when you invest in options we, when you buy options uh about 90 percent of them expire worthless so know that if you join that community now as far as the data we don't really have anything throughout the rest of the day we do have fed evans he is currently speaking it's not affecting the markets all too much it did bring us down just a little bit because they said uh, essentially the the fed is going to raise throughout the rest of the year and we pretty much went to 420 peaked out when fed evans started to speak so i do want to see exactly what he says but it doesn't look like it's going to be something that is is going to make the market super bullish or super bearish the cpi is really going to dominate the headlines i think over the next couple of days but tomorrow you do have another reading of inflation that comes out which is ppi month over month over month for July. Now, why is this going to be important? Because this is producer price index or producer price inflation, whatever you guys want to call it. Now, if you see this come in below expectations as well, that may be a very, very good thing. But also people might say, hey guys, you know, if PPI does go higher than expected, that's the producer side. Maybe that's going to take a little bit of time to seep into CPI, the consumer aspect of uh, prices or of inflation right producers get hit with inflation they pass that on to the consumers so that's kind of how it works in a nutshell watch that that comes out at 8 30 in the morning uh tomorrow not really expecting it to be big i i, I don't think we're going to get a big beat or a big miss here i think it's probably going to come in uh, around expectations now there was a, a very good quote that i heard today i was going to say seen but heard today uh, and it's really the one of the best quotes um, that I've heard in a, in a very long time uh, with regards to the stock market. And it goes something like this. I'm going to paraphrase a little bit. But essentially it says, one month does not change a trend, but one month starts a trend. So it, it's not necessarily that the inflation story is done at this point, but it might be one month does change a trend or, or start a trend but it's not it's not gonna change a trend right 
the next reading september 11th will be that more important uh just because uh, we're going to get inflation that comes down again and that would be a further indication of this trend which is changing and becoming more bullish or it's going to go higher and that would be a very bad thing but only time will tell for that one now as far as what the markets are pricing in and what the fed is going to do we are now only expecting a 75 basis point rate hike with a 28 percent probability two percent Participants expect a 50 basis point rate hike, whereas yesterday, 52% of market participants expected that 75 basis point rate hike. So the Fed futures probability has dropped about 30% here today. So that is also a very bullish thing. And as far as the Ortex data for AMC stock, AMC currently down about 0.49%. So getting even more bullish might be a good time to uh, make a call trade on AMC. It might look into that here after this video. Like I said, if you guys want access to that link down below in the description but nonetheless as far as the option activity for the day we are seeing 30 orders totaling 2.37 million dollars positive order value of 81 percent so very bullish after the cpi report has since come out as far as the short interest and the cost bar max you are seeing the cost bar max which is spiking here again today at 18.57 percent that is a decent spike from the cost bar rates that we seen yesterday around 11 16 percent give or take depending on what time uh you guys did look at that data cost bar average at 8.84 percent cost bar minimum at 7.94 percent and you are seeing the estimated short interest of free float at about 17.29 percent about two billion dollars worth of short positions currently on amc stock free flow out on loan 24.62 percent shares out on loan 127 million and it does say days to cover 2.75 and 100 percent share utilization so that is going to conclude it for this video let me know if you guys want a technical uh deep in-depth technical overview of amc stock i will talk technicals until your brain cannot take it anymore if that's what you guys would like to hear about nonetheless there is a lot of other things to discuss but we're not going to make this video a half hour or an hour long so we're going to save it for the next one that is it hit that like button and subscribe to the channel you guys enjoy the rest of your day until until the next time you guys take care